So I got out a CD and drew around the edge of a CD. You've been cartooning for 35 years and you don't have a compass? I do have a compass. Um, I couldn't find it. <laughs> Let me just grab a pen. A good pen. Welcome back to Punchlines. Uh, we are going to, uh, at the end of the week, wrap it up with a nice little cartoon roundup from around the country. We've been doing this uh, on Politico for a number of years. We call it Cartoon Carousel. I try to balance different political points of view and different uh, artistic and cartoon styles and different sensibilities. Meet my pal, Joel Pett. I met. Uh, been my cartoon buddy for years and years and years. He had a really, really great cartoon that uh, we're gonna lead off the carousel with this week. You give other cartoonists a really hard time about using cliches, but there are cliches that are so cliched that they're not cliched, they're actually <laughs> tropes. And you went with one of these. Uh, thank you, I think. Um, my rule for a cliche or a trope is if you can update it, and it's okay to do it, but you are, of course, opening yourself up to the criticism of seriously, that's all I could think of was uh, Sisyphus. So tell me tell me about this cartoon. Okay, well, the, uh, the premise of it is that everybody's complaining, oh no, when did we get back to normal? And I thought, normal? Normal wasn't that great. We had all these other crises bearing down on us. So what we're really pining for is to get back to the catastrophic life that we had before we had this catastrophic life. You've got this other one for Earth Day that's got the uh, Earth is a Big Barbecue. It was very yeah. tempting, just for the sake of your darling elephant and your hippo in the corner. Well, that was specific to one of the major eco-catastrophes. So I had, uh, you know, a little sampling of the endangered species off to the side of man, you know, who was having his barbecue while he cooked up the earth. And they were saying, well, it's too bad there can't be species distancing. Uh, I think it's pretty evident that uh, I didn't go to art school. I would characterize my style as scratchy and spare and, um, lazy. I try to get this thing done as quick as I can once I get the idea. You came on a style that not only worked pretty well for the Lexington Herald Leader, but it also got you a Pulitzer Prize, right? Well, that's true. <laughs> but I can't do, there's whole bunches of things I can't do. I tried an art class once in college and they brought in bowls of wooden fruit and naked people and ask you to draw them and you could not tell the difference between my naked people and my bowls of fruit. <laughs> like cartooning is not, as you say, it's not about rendering faces in beautiful three dimensions and stuff like that. It's about the idea and a fun way of presenting it. 